Oh yes guys, you hear that? The sweet sound of nostalgia. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to bottle up that nostalgia and then smash it all over your Nintendo Switch. Because today I'm going to be teaching you how to install Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 on the Nintendo Switch. But before I continue, I want to clarify some things. This is Open Roller Coaster Tycoon. In fact, this will let you launch both Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 and 1. But in order for the homebrew to work, you actually got to own both them games. Well, you only need to own Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. So let me clarify this again. To get this homebrew to work, you're gonna need Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. There's no getting around that. You can't just put the first Roller Coaster Tycoon game in the folder after extracting it and expect it to work. Trust me, I tried. That ain't how this works at all. You're gonna need to buy either the COG version of Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 or own the DVD in order to continue on with this tutorial. Now with that said, if you got either the second game or the second game and the first game, we can now then continue on. So first of all, we need to head on over to the GitHub page and download the zip. Now once we got the zip downloaded, you actually need to extract that zip and put it in the switches folder on your SD card. So when you get that finally done, it should look something like this. You should have a folder on your Switch's SD card, and then when you extract the files, you should have a folder called OpenRCT2. Now from here, we can open this folder up, and you will notice a few things. We have a folder here called RCT1. That's for Roller Coaster Tycoon's game files. If you were to throw these files in here, you get the bonus maps as well as the campaign from the first Roller Coaster Tycoon game. But in order for this homebrew to well work, we got to have Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Essentially, those maps and game files load into the second Roller Coaster Tycoon game, which then gets loaded up on our Switch. So you gotta have Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. You can either just drag and drop all the files from the COG release into this folder, which I recommend. You don't really have to do it like this, but if you do it like this, it's, it's not that much bigger in terms of file size. And then you also get to have the full PC version of the game on your SD card. So you could take your SD card out of your Switch, plug it in the computer, and play, well, your maps from the Switch game right on the computer, which is pretty cool. So I recommend it copying the Roller Coaster Tycoon game over like that if you can. But yeah, once we got the main game's base files on here and copied over, we can pretty much just eject this SD card. We're pretty much done. We can just pop this in to our Switch, launch into the homebrew menu, and yes, I should have clarified this at the beginning of the video, you must be jailbroken or well modded for this homebrew to work, okay? So once we boot up our Switch, either using our jig or, or our computer, or whatever other method is available out there, once we boot up our Switch into the modded firmware, we want to then check the homebrew menu and make sure that the open RCT2 icon is there. Now before you get all happy and click on Open RCT2, you can't launch the game this way. Uh, if you try to launch the game just through the homebrew menu, it will not work. You'll get a black screen, you'll hear the nostalgic sounds, you just won't get the nostalgic gameplay. So to actually get the game to work as intended, we got to launch it with more memory, so to say. So to do this, you just back out onto your home screen and launch any other Nintendo title or game that you have on your Nintendo Switch. And while you're doing it, you want to hold the right trigger, the same button you use to hold to open the homebrew menu. Essentially, when we launch a game while holding the right trigger, we open up in applet mode or is it not applet mode? I don't really remember the term, but you open up in the advanced menu for homebrew, allowing you to use more RAM for certain homebrew applications. So now once we boot up into the game while holding the right trigger, we should get the homebrew menu. Now we can click on open RCT2 and it should launch. Now it might take a good old minute or two at first to load in all the files and verify things, but after that every other sequ sequential launch will be a lot quicker. You'll have a two second black screen maybe, but then the game will launch and play fine. 
But yeah, guys, with that said, I'm going to leave today's video off here now. I hope I was able to help you out, and if you do run into any problems when it comes to installing the homebrew, let me know and I'll help you out to the best of my ability. But if you're having any problems in-game, which I doubt any of you will, but if you do, don't reply to me about it. Reply to the guy on GitHub that made it. I'm sure he will patch it for you and or tell you how to fix said glitches. But yeah, for now, like I said, I'm going to leave today's video off here. DTPK signing off. Peace. And make file. If you type it correctly, the make file will open up and you will see some code on screen. You got to do this same step over again. You want to right click on Cairo this time. Hit new.